Good morning, welcome to the Art Money Talk. My name is Mo. Today's question is how to photograph my art portfolio. Should I hire a professional photographer or can I do it myself? My answer is it really depends. Are you willing to learn photography yourself? Or how often do you need a photographer to come to your studio and take those photos? Today we are going to compare prices so you can make the optimal decision for your wallet. Professional photographers usually charge by hour. Depending where you are in the world, you can pay anything from 20 bucks an hour to 500 bucks per hour. Just for the sake of calculation, let's put down 100 per hour because according to my experience, you can hire a professional photographer for $100 per hour in most of the places in the world. How often do you need the photographer to come to your studio? Let's imagine every three months you have 10 large artworks and the photographer will come every three months and take photos of these 10 artworks. If nothing goes wrong, a professional photographer will be able to take these 10 artworks under an hour. You'll be billed for 100 for every three months, that's $400 a year. However, if you need a photographer to come every month to take pictures of one or two paintings, the flag for fee, once he comes or she comes, is $100. He's not gonna charge 50 bucks for half hour. No, it doesn't work like that. It's not worth his time and to travel to your studio, right? So the minimum fee is 100. So you'll be paying 100 every month. That means 1,200 every year. That's three times more than hiring a photographer every season. You see, there's a big difference. Now let's see how much it will cost you to do it yourself, having your own gears. First of all, let's do the preparation. Before you start the photo shoot, you need to prepare all your gears ready. You need a few things. First thing you need is your camera. You're taking professional photos of your art portfolio. You don't want to just use your phone in your pocket and snap and that's it. You need to make sure the photo quality is industrial quality and match any other photographers. So you need at least an entry level DSLR. For example, a Canon T7 that costs just under $500, you need at least that to take decent photos for your art portfolio. And let's imagine you have that or similar things for 500 bucks as a budget to purchase a camera, then you need three more things at least. A tripod, because you don't want the image to come off shaky or unfocused or wrongly exposed. You want a sturdy, clean image square up. So you need a really sturdy tripod that costs you more or less $100. You, know, you can buy more expensive, but 100 is enough. You need lights, that's very important. I bought this video lights, three one with a little tripod and an umbrella, very nicely diffused, that cost me 50 bucks. You need other few things, for example, backdrop. You don't want to put it against your sofa or on your floor. You want a clean, sleek background. You can buy a background paper for photo shoot, or you can buy a just a white bed sheet and hang it, of course. You can just do it against a white wall as well. Perhaps you don't want to damage the wall with a nail, you don't want to pinch a cable, or you don't want to have to paint it over again. So you have to buy this very expensive 3M strips with a hook for art that will cost you, maybe during the year you buy a few, it costs you 20 bucks. So you may just very well buy a photo background for 20 bucks. So let's just say the backdrop will cost you 20 bucks and let's get over with it. And if I'm not wrong, I calculated it's around $670 to get all your gears ready. You can spend more, but this is the minimum you need. Second, during the shoot, so now you're ready to take photos. It's quite straightforward because we have done such a nice preparation. It's very easy. I can take photos of a Canva in and out 20 minutes from setup to clean up without complication. If you're new to this and you don't know how to manage your camera or the lighting or everything else, perhaps it will take you an hour or two to manage to take the first photo and you'll get better and it'll be faster. You can put your hourly rate as a part of the cost because you are spending your time to do this task. If you're an amateur photographer, I don't recommend you to put in a normal hourly rate like a mature photographer because, you know, newbie photographers usually don't get paid at the beginning. Editing. Now you have taken the photos and now you are ready to edit them. You don't need a lot of retouch, but you do need a few adjustments in order to get the colors right. That's very important for your art portfolio, unless you're taking monochrome photos, that's a different thing. Before you start editing your photos, you need to calibrate your screen. Unless you have a already calibrated screen, you need to purchase a calibrator. And that is 
a color monkey or color spider. I don't know who came up with these names, but they are funny, I don't know why. I have a color monkey myself. A color spider would also cost you the same, it's 150 bucks. That will last you a few years. Mine broke after two years and a half, but you know, it's life, it happens. If you don't want to calibrate your screen for whatever reason, perhaps you switch computers a lot and you can't calibrate every single screen in your house or at work, you can buy a color checker or color passport. It looks like this. I have this myself. So basically it is a reference plate that you leave next to your artwork when you take photos so that later even with your eyes closed you know what are the true colors. Ideally you need to buy both, a calibrator and a color checker. A calibrator costs 150 minimal and the checker costs 80 bucks. Last but not least, you need a photo editing software. I use both Photoshop and Aperture and also many other things, but I would recommend the industrial, professional, simple, normal thing that is a Photoshop from Adobe and you can subscribe it for $9.99 a month, that's $120 a year, okay, it's $119.88 or something like that. Just for the sake of calculation, please let's put it $120 a year for the subscription and you do need to renew it every year that means this is a continuous cost but this is a cost that you buy it once and it lasts quite a long time you don't need to renew it unless you break it or you know make it dirty it does say that this lasts two years but really it has been five years and it looks just as new just take care of it put it in a very dry and shady place and that's it so totally for the editing work it adds up to 350 bucks for a year including the subscription to Photoshop and let's do the math now. It will cost you for the first year 670 plus 350. That is 1020 bucks for the first year when you just started to take photos of your own art and buying all this equipment. If you do this for three years on average, you will be spending $420 each year. As you can see, it is still more expensive than having a professional photographer come into your studio every three months. It is still a lot cheaper than having a professional photographer come into your studio every month or even more frequent. Sometimes you need to take photos of something else, perhaps an art event or your own exhibition or your own portrait or family friends photos. So for me, in my opinion, it is very worthwhile to buy a good camera so you can use it for both professional and personal use. This is actually what I did. I bought an entry-level DSLR from Canon uh, like seven years ago or even eight years ago. I started playing with it because I don't want to rely on a professional photographer to be there so that I can take photos. I want to do it myself. I want to rely on my own skills and I know I'm not the best but I'm always there for me, right? So I bought the camera and then it leads to a professional photography career and for me it's a really nice thing to learn. It's a very versatile skill especially for artists to have. I would totally recommend that. In the future, I'll be uploading more videos on how to take better photos of your art. Stay tuned, click on the subscription button if you haven't already, and thank you for watching. See you in the next video.